This is a story of a 66-year-old male. He's diabetic hypertensive. He was diagnosed with coronary artery disease in the year 2008. In 2008, November, he had a PTCA plus tending to left-handed descending artery and a poba to obtuse marginal. In year 2011, three years later, he again had an intervention in the right coronary artery. That time he had two stents in the right coronary artery. So he has been doing well. He, he presented to us a few months back with effort and China. He had a positive TMT, and his echo was normal without any regional motion abnormality. So this is his right coronary angiogram. He has got a patent stents in the right coronary arteries with the, no significant uh, flow-limiting disease in the right coronary artery. And his circumflex system was fully filled retrogradely from the right coronary system. The interest is in the, right in the left coronary. These are the caudal views. You can see that there is some bulge in the proximal left coronary system. And the circumflex is totally occluded. And the stent in the lady is peritent with no significant disease in the distal lady. So the discussion is about the lesion in the proximal left coronary system. So these are the caudal views. If you see clearly, if you can see that there is left main and there is some the distal left main, there is some narrowing and there is some bulge in the distal left main. And if you see clearly, you can see the vessel, a supreme boss to vessel which is flowing down that bulged area. So are we dealing with the coronary artery aneurysm? Or is it simply a tortuous coronary artery? Or if at all it's a coronary artery aneurysm, what is the site of origin? So we thought we will do a CT angiogram. CT angiogram didn't do much. This thing, you can see the the left main coming there. There is not much there. This is the images they reconstituted. Uh, they reported this just like there is some dilatation in the proximal LAD and they were not sure about the intraluminal stenosis. So, so this is a patient who has gotten a bulge in the left coronary system, they're probably in an aneurysmal segment and a totally occluded circumflex. So we thought we'd do an uh, intravascular imaging. I will just do a, can go through the image and I will froze the important segments for you. This is the pull back from the LAD to the left main. So these are the important areas. This is the distal lady. This is the distal lady. This is the aneurysmal segment. There is an aneurysm here. It is in the proximal part of the lady. And this is the second flush there. So this is involving the aneurysm is involving the distal left main. So and uh, this is the aneurysmal area. And just proximal to aneurysmal area, there is a tight stenosis. There is a this is the distal left main. There is an area, there is area is only 3.6 centimeters square. And this is the proximal left main. So we have got an aneurysm which is involving the distal lady, the um, uh, left main, distal left main, and the second place is totally occluded. So what is the option? So this patient, when we go through his uh, earlier reports in 2000, when he had a second intervention, that time itself it was showed that the circumflex is filling from the right system. So anyway, circumflex is totally occluded, and it was demonstrated in uh, 2011 angiogram. So now we have got an aneurysmal segment in the left LAD, left main, and a tight stenosis. So we thought of, this is just a procedural step. This is not very important. There is, we initially predilated with a three millimeter balloon. There was some difficulty in tracking the left main and uh, the graft master. So we took a guideline as support. Then after the, the deployment of the stent, we post dilated with a four millimeter balloon. That is what the uh, measurement we got at the left main with the IVAS. So this is the final result. 
angiographically it looks well post stent and this is the post deployment repeat ivs you can see this is the overlapped area of the previous stent with the graft master well post stent So these are the dimensions. This is the distal area. This is the overlapped stent area, and the left main, the left main area is 10.4 centimeter square. So uh, this patient we managed with the graft master stent. So I was in this patient helped us in better delineation of the anatomy, and uh, it helped us in planning the treatment strategy in these ambiguous lesions. So uh, endovascular imaging is an important uh, modality in uh, lesions like this. This is a, an, uh, just an old uh, literature from the Gary Mintz group. They studied intravascular ultrasound in angiographically, angiographic coronary aneurysm, and uh, they showed that the true aneurysm was identified as vessel diameter, which has 50% larger than the proximal reference, and pseudo aneurysms, which had a loss of vessel wall integrity. In our patient, we had a true aneurysm, and angiographically, if the appearing aneurysm, I was, they showed that only one third of angiographically designed aneurysm had the IVAS appearance of true or pseudo aneurysm. Thank you for your kind attention.